<laughs> oh my god. I love it. This looks so good. We did such a good job. What's going on, guys? Now, today we've got a first for Mendit Modit, but this isn't really the right place to be starting this video. That's more like it because today we've got our first interior mod. And it's a good job too, because it's just started absolutely hammering it down. Now you guys will probably hear me talk about my old Vauxhall Astra quite a lot. Mostly about how bad it was and how much of a pain in the ass that car was. But there's one thing that I really miss about it. And that's the interior. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really like the interior in this car, but I think there's one thing that it's really missing, especially on the ST model. And that's a black headliner, black sun visors, and black pillars. So we're gonna address that today. And oh God, what does he want? Yes. I just came to make sure that you're doing things properly this time. It's just a headliner and some plastics. I think I can manage. I hope you're not just trying to dye the headliner and spray paint the pillars. That's not gonna work. Will you just leave me alone? Uh, when are you gonna learn? <sighs> Honestly, he's a nightmare. Anyway, let's get on and try and remove this headliner and these pillars and hopefully he won't bother us anymore. Okay, there we go. That's the headliner, the pillars, and all the trims removed. And you've got to admit, the car now looks full race car spec. I mean, luckily, it's still going to be functional, so I can still drive this thing for the time being. It's not going to be one of those things that leaves it off the road for a long period of time. But that's all I'm going to have time to do today, but I'm going to get up super early tomorrow and crack on with getting this headliner and all those trims and everything else blacked out. Make sure that you're doing things properly this time. I hope you're not just trying to dye the headliner and spray paint the pillars. That's not going to work. Uh, when are you going to learn? Okay, so it's actually the following day and I did not sleep a wink last night because I couldn't stop thinking about how I'm going to black out this headliner. But I've really been thinking about it, and to be honest with you, I think my brother's probably right. So rather than dyeing the headliner like I've seen people do in the past, we're actually going to re-trim it. So this is some 2 mil foam-backed fabric that I found online, and I'll leave a link in the description if you're looking to find this yourself. I've also got a can of contact adhesive to help me stick this to the headliner. I'm not totally sold on what I'm going to do about the pillars just yet, but for now I'm going to make a start on the headliner. Now the first thing I'm going to do is rip the old fabric off the original headliner, and my girlfriend Daisy's going to come around and help me because there's no chance I'd be able to do this by myself.
Okay, so that is the headliner done. <laughs> I think this looks so good. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get this thing in the car. But before I can put this back in, I still need to sort out some of the pillars and decide what I'm going to do with those. I think I've got an idea of what I'm going to do with these. And there's also all of these little hooks, caps and trim pieces and this handle as well that I need to do something with. I can't wrap those in the same fabric that I've done the headliner in. So I think I'm going to have to paint them. And I've managed to dig out an old can of matte black and there's... Actually, it doesn't sound like it, but there's quite a bit left in there, so hopefully we've got enough to paint these with. So I'm going to give these a quick scuff up with some fine sandpaper. Remove any dust left over from sanding. Wipe everything down with some panel prep. Give everything a coat of plastic primer. And then hit everything with a few coats of matte black. Now I'm just gonna leave those to dry and I'm gonna crack on with the pillars. Now I've decided that with these, I'm actually gonna wrap them in the same fabric that we wrap the headliner in. Okay, so this has had a couple of minutes and it has started to go tacky and then I'm almost gonna roll that down, but I'm only gonna do the first little bit because this is a curved piece you do have to like work with the fabric quite a bit. So there you go, you can start to see the, uh, the basic shape on there. So the next thing I'm gonna do is trim off most of the excess. I'm gonna have to make a few relief cuts in this as well to get around things like these tabs and you know some of the sort of sharper angles on here as well. But uh, the first one I did, I did the, first, uh, the other side off camera and it actually turned out really well. So fingers crossed I can get this side looking just as good. So as you can see, I've made little relief cuts in all the difficult angles, all the difficult edges. So then hopefully we can just fold this over nice and easily, glue down the edge of the fabric, glue down the inside edge of the pillar, and then we can stick these corners and edges down. Okay, that's the two A pillars done, and I think these look great. What I was finding is I was getting quite a lot of overspray on here with the glue, but just something like a label remover or some sort of solvent like that on a soft cloth brings that off no problem. Now I've got to move on to these pieces. Now these I was really worried about, but I've actually done one of each already for the one side, and now I've just got these ones to do. I've also got all these little bits done, and then we're pretty much ready to stick everything back in the car. Okay, there we go, that's the pillars wrapped and they look so good. I'm so excited to get these in the car. There's still a couple of little bits I need to do, like cut out some of the holes for the little plugs and the seat belts and things like that. I need to cut out all the little bits for that, but I'm not gonna make you sit through that. So I'm gonna get that done and then we can get these back in the car and get the headliner in and this is gonna look so good, I can't wait. Okay, there we go, that is everything in. We've got the headliner in, 
we've got all the pillars in, we've got the light in, we've got all the little bits of trim, and the handle up there, we've got everything in now apart from the sun visors. And that's where we run into a little bit of a problem. Now, you couldn't get a Mark VI Fiesta, as far as I know, with black sun visors, because as far as I know, you couldn't get them with black headlining, black pillars, or anything like that. But luckily, there is another option. The new Fiesta Mark VII ST180 came with black sun visors, and luckily for us, they fit in the Mark VI. Not without some modifications though, because unfortunately the Mark VII and the Mark VI visors mount in slightly differently. But it's nothing we can't fix with a Dremel. Basically what I need to do is cut this tab off here, also remove some of the plastic around here and anything else that's stopping this surface sitting flush up with the headliner. Then I'll have to drill a couple of holes, the same width apart as these two, and then we should be able to screw this into the car. <laughs> Next, I'm going to drill a hole roughly where I think the visor is going to mount. Then roughly measure the distance between the centre of the two holes on the original visor. Then mark this out on our new visor. Drill our second hole. Then mount the new visor into the original mounting point. And it's that easy. And there we go. Oh my God, this looks so good. I'm so gassed for this. It just looks so much better in here. I don't understand why they didn't come with an option, at least like this from the factory, but it's all turned out so well, even down to these little details. Like I didn't think when I painted these that they'd come out very well at all. And the visors as well. On camera, actually, the visors look a lot lighter than the headliner, but in person, I mean, they match almost perfectly. Is this like texturing on the sun visor? and it's pretty much the same as what's on the roof. The color looks slightly different. I think it's because this is like a plastic, so it's shiny. So when the light hits this, it's making it, it's making it look a lot different on camera. But honestly, the color match between the two as well, considering like this is a standard Ford part and this is just, you know, a generic headliner off the internet. But, oh my God, guys, I'm so happy with this. That looks sick. Guys, I love it. I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy the way it turned out. Like it just looks perfect. We did such a good job, like, especially on the headliner. So like, thank you Days, uh, for helping me with that. Like you smashed it. You did a hell of a job. I could not have done that bit by myself. It's just so good. I can't get over how much better it is. I love it. I really do. I love it. It looks so good in here. It looks so much more like sporty as well with the sort of black headliner, black pillars and to go with the sun strip that we fitted in the last video as well. But the best thing about it, you know what I really like about it? It doesn't look too over the top and it, it looks it looks almost OEM. You know, a lot of people go with like fake suede and things like that. And yeah, it can look good, but I, not really for me. I think this looks really clean, looks really OEM. And like I said before, it really matches the sun visors as well. I, I'm gassed at how that's turned out. It's the first interior mod I've done on this car. And I think it's the best one I'll ever do. I don't think I'll do anything to the interior of this car that makes me more happy than this headliner. And just quickly, for those of you that were wondering about the sun strip that we fitted in the last video that we had to improvise with with some window tint, the proper one has now turned up and has been fitted and it looks great. It looks so much better than that stupid tint. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more interior mods on this car and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Once again, Mike put absolutely no effort in. I did it all myself and here is the finished result.